Hello, looks like we're live, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Innovators Live, our third Friday session. I'm here with Kyla. We'll just maybe give it a minute for some people to log on and then we'll we'll get rolling. Good morning, Matt. How are you doing? Doing good. It's TGIF here. Yeah. Good morning. Got a coffee. Looking forward to chatting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got a nice sunny day here in Calgary, so it's not minus 20 as it was last weekend. So we're going into a nice balmy five degree weekend. Ooh, things are looking up. Chinook time in Calgary. That's that is warm. Good. Yeah, it's about five degrees and rainy today, so not too bad. I hope everyone out there is looking forward to the weekend. All right, well, let's let's get started. We're about a minute in, so welcome everybody again to our third Innovators Live, powered by Ghost. So Friday, February third, uh, we're here in in the start of 2023. We're already a month in, which is which is pretty crazy. I don't know about all of you out there, but uh, definitely time seems to be seems to be moving along quickly. As we think about 2023. You know, we, we think of one phrase that we've been throwing around the office here is as we think about the macroeconomic environment and where we might be heading. And there's a lot of talk about a recession and a lot of uncertainty out there. Cash is king. Uh, so we've been talking a lot about this with our customers. And and this is kind of a, a phrase that I think we'll we'll keep repeating in this in this time. So we really think that strong financial health is really important to to our customers. And of course, we're really happy to support our customers in that and, and help them continue to grow. Uh, so yeah, definitely uh, cash as we go into the year, super, super important. And Shred, happy to, excited to talk about that today and how can we help get companies the most amount of Shred credits that we can and, and quickly. So as we get into it today here, um, looking forward to talking more about that. So an intro to myself and the VP of Customer Delivery at Boast. And I'm joined today by Kyla Moreau, who's our Director of Shred Customer Delivery. And Kyla's based out of Calgary. I'm based out of Vancouver. And we're going to talk today about Shred. How do we get the most amount of money back for you from the Shred program? What is it? And kind of demystify it a bit. But before we get into it, Kyla, can you give a bit of an intro to yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so like Matt said, I'm the Director of Customer Delivery for our Shred Operations here. So I oversee most of our Canadian um, Shred claims preparation for, for Boast. Uh, I was first introduced to Boast as on the client side. So Boast was actually my Shred provider. Um, about six years ago, I was working with Dana Lee in a oil and gas data collection um, platform that we were working to have a, a single source of truth of data that went out to our, our oil and gas service providers. And uh, obviously oil and gas, the, the barrel, the, the dollar fell out of the barrel and things changed in that economy. And I was found looking for new work. And I, luckily I made the, the change and uh, changed industries. And now I'm able to support um, companies like my previous company and um, a, a plethora of other different industries. So it's uh, great to be on, on this side of things, um, helping prepare claims for, for our clients. I've been with Boast for about five years now. I um, started as an individual contributor, working with really closely with all of our clients, and I uh, watched Boast grow from 20 employees to where we're at now, we're over 100 and growing strong. So it's been an exciting journey over the last five years, and uh, yeah, I'm sure the excitement hasn't even come close to ending. It certainly has been an exciting journey as we continue to work with more and more companies across Canada, all kinds of different industries. It's really cool that you've been on on both sides of it. That's kind of a unique a unique thing. Most of our our team engineers, really strong technical people, haven't actually gone through the claim process themselves. But uh, you, as as uh, the leader on the shred delivery side, seeing seeing both of it, that's that's great. So maybe let's let's speak to it a little bit, and, and you know, kind of using some of your experience and and where you've come from, and of course, going through our process with our customers. Uh, I think one one of the things we often hear from people who maybe haven't claimed shred before or founders who haven't claimed shred. They're like, well, I'm, I'm not putting the, the lab code on. I, do I qualify for shred? I don't really understand the program. There's some mystery around it. So maybe can you talk to us? Like, let's talk a little bit about the basics, shred 101. What, what is it? What are some of the criteria and what, what type of work do we see that, that is eligible? Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, the CRA did us a big service a couple of years ago and they really simplified their definition of shred. So they've reduced it from kind of a convoluted five question step that we went to, to really two questions. So they're looking for a why and a how. Uh, so the why is really what boundary of technology are we pushing? So if the current technology or your current knowledge base is able to get you to a certain milestone, but you need to be faster, more performant, more accurate, uh, whatever the case may be, and you need to push the boundaries of what's currently out there, that's your why. This is, we need to get further. We need to do better. This is, this is where we want to be. And there's no readily available solution to get us there or no, no publicly shared knowledge that will allow us to solve our problem. Now the how is how do you get there? We know that every time we're trying to solve a solution, likely the first time we try isn't gonna work. So what did we learn from that attempt and how are we gonna move forward? So looking through that iteration, looking through that systematic approach to say, okay, this got us 50% towards our goal. Based on that learning, we went to the next step and we tried something a little bit different to get us even closer. The great part about Shred is it loves failure. Um, as far as the more you fail, the better, the more strength we have in a filing position to show the CRA. I like to call Shred um, therapy for the developers or the engineers because they got to come in and talk about all of the things that kept them up uh, throughout the year. And um, that's what kind of creates the, the Shred story that we're able to tell to the CRA and get, be able to get money back from those um, turbulent times, let's call them. Yeah. Yeah, I know we, I know we often... Uh when talking to customers we used to say this is the only time you get you get paid to fail and so when we when i'm talking to customers is like some sometimes they're they're hesitant to talk you know talking to a developer and and they want to talk about the solutions that they developed or shred is really it's all about that journey and what do we what do we experiment with along the way and and what didn't work um so it gives us a really you know it's a great opportunity to talk about different things that they tried and different things that maybe maybe worked and, and some, some things that didn't work. And uh, how, how did we, what did we learn along the way, which is really, really what it's all about. And the CRA will, we'll call it technological advancement. And that's what we're, we're trying to uncover here. And that's really the purpose of the program is to encourage companies to take on innovative projects. They might not otherwise undertake, um, try to address some risks to, of course, try to achieve a business outcome, but, in, in doing so, what if, what knowledge have we gained along the way and, and what, what have we learned that we can apply to, to future projects? So um, definitely we, yeah, we see a lot of really, really exciting technology and it doesn't have to be, I mean, that, that's the common misconception is that, you know, you've really got to be doing some sort of rocket science. You need to be pursuing innovation, um, but it's not, you know, any company that's innovating and experimenting with technology can, can qualify for, for shred. Absolutely. And, and it's not just restricted to any industry as well. So the great part about this program is uh, it's not just um, on your traditional science, like it can be any um, research and development through any industry. So we see a lot of clients in the software industry. However, we have agriculture, pharma tech, fintech. Um, we have a, a plethora of different clients in all different industries and we're able to help and support them. Um, just push the envelope and push those boundaries of what's existing out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what uh, what have we seen? We've done shred for for over ten years as a as a company, and we've done thousands of of shred clinics. We've got a really broad range of of expertise and experience in in preparing claims. If we're talking about looking at other companies, maybe they've claimed themselves in house. What are some of the common pitfalls and and mistakes and issues that we see, and things that we can we can help them with? Yeah, I think the first one is really just identifying um, the shred positioning. Um, when you don't look at, um, when you don't live and breathe shred on a daily basis, it's hard to kind of identify this is shred, this is not. So having a third party come in and look at it with a, a fresh set of eyes and be able to kind of position um, your work and maximize your claim is really helpful. Um, being able to look at it from a higher level view, see if there's an umbrella um, uncertainty that you can apply so that you're able to claim more of your work, um, really just set it up in a place for strength um, for your claim. Uh, the narrative that we do prepare does get submitted to the CRA. So the CRA does read a high level of overview of the work that you've performed. So that's really the first impression that the CRA gets of your work. So that's through putting your best foot forward and representing yourself the best way to the CRA is, is your first step in the in there. Um, the CRA 
does perform audits on their shred and we would need to make sure that we're preparing the shred claim in the most defensible way. The CRA says that they'll audit every company um, one out of five years, so about 20% of the time. So it's not an if, it's a when you get audited. So just making sure that you're prepared and have the answers and the documentation to back up your claim. Uh, that's one of the things that we always do is prepare a claim as if it will go to audit. Mm -hmm. uh, so make sure the right documentation is in place for the financial information that will uh, support the, the technical work. Um, but knowing the, the series triggers and uh, what makes them tick and what makes them raise an eyebrow, um, it's, we go through hundreds of audits, well, hundreds of audits in the last five years that I've been with Boast. Um, we see about, I think our audit rate right now is about 8% um, of our claims that go through. It's relatively low to compared to that 20% the CRA says they're going to audit. But uh, we have that experience and that relationship with the, the RTAs, the research and technology advisors from the CRA, uh, to be able to know what, what they're looking for in a, in a given year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. We, uh, we've been really successful at, at supporting our clients through, through audits. And uh, like Kyla said, not a, not a question of if it's a matter of when and, uh, you know, yeah, we, we, we make sure through the process, make sure all the claims that we, we prepare and they're, they're defensible and we're okay to go, go to bat with the, with the CRA and argue why it meets the criteria. So how long, I guess, just thinking about maybe switching gears a, a little bit and, and kind of where we started the conversation and talking a little bit about the macroeconomic environment and cash is king. What are some things that as we get into the corporate tax season here with June 30th being being a big rush and certainly a busy, busy time of year for, for ourselves and, and for our customers? If I'm a customer and I want to get cash, what are some things that, that we should do or that they should do to help get that money as quick as it can? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've definitely seen a shift in behavior this year compared to other years. Um, in previous years, it's normally by the end of Q1 that we start seeing people wanting to file their taxes. This year, we've had a huge onslaught of people come in and say, you know what, I want to file as soon as I can so I can get that refund in my pocket. Um, obviously, cash is king and it's it's a big need for people right now. Um, it's it's very important and it is absolutely king. So um, moving quickly is, is definitely um, on people's mind right now. Uh, one of the approaches we take from a, a shred preparation process is a proactive approach. So we meet with our clients throughout the year. Um, so we're able to gather a lot of those technical details throughout the year. Um, I find it hard to remember what I had for breakfast yesterday, let alone what I did at work eight months ago. So if we've met with your team for a half an hour, an hour, once a quarter, um, we're able to collect those details and you're only having to remember just small pieces and segments of the work. So when it comes to the end of the year preparation, we're just needing to kind of wrap up the final details to get that technical narrative put together. It really just saves time at the end of the year preparation. A little bit more work throughout the year to make sure that we're capturing those details, but just gets um, the claim turned around quicker at the end of the year so you can file faster. Yeah, in indeed. Uh, so yeah, like going back to where we started there on 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 that thread and Certainly, you know, what we advise our clients is let's not wait until the last minute to, to file your, your tax return. So the shred claim is included with your corporate tax return. Accountants get very, very busy in, in May and June. Uh, so the sooner that we can, we can get that claim prepared and, and work with, with our clients to get the claim prepared, the better it is. So the CRA processes all shred claims within about 60 days after it's completed and filed. So you know, if we can complete the claim, our process takes, Kyla takes about 60 to, to 90 days, depending on how much information to go through the whole process. We can, we can look to get that, that cash back in, in your bank account pretty quickly after we get started. Absolutely. Um, and I mean, we also work with a, a lender. So if we do have a, a quick fund offering, um, so if people are needing money quicker um, and, are, and qualify for the, the loans, um, we are able to connect our clients with those options. If, if cash is in short and they need to see that money sooner than later, uh, we can connect them with those uh, opportunities as well. Yeah, no, we're, we're really excited about that, uh, that service that, that we offer. And, uh, and again, a great way just to uh, get money back sooner so we can just continue innovating and continue encouraging encouraging growth and doing the exciting projects that that customers are, are developing so really pumped to be pumped to be a part of that it's a it's an exciting offering 
so uh, I guess just on the on the technical side and and you know how how we operate, Kyla is like uh, our team has a lot of expertise. Maybe speak just briefly to to our team and and um, we talk about different industries, there's many different industries across Canada. Like how how do we work when we come in and and work with with a customer in terms of identifying projects and preparing the actual claims? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we come in to talk to the team kind of. Um, I guess the, the majority of our team and why we are a bit unique is we hire very technical sound people. So most of our team has um, a very technical background. They've either been software developers, the bioscientists, there's, um, they've worked kind of in the nuts and bolts and they've had their fingers on the keyboards. Uh, so they're able to talk very technical jargon with the, the technical team as well. We're not coming in as accountants, getting the technical information across the board. Uh, so we do have those specialists that can understand the context and there's um, a lesser learning curve. Of course, we're not experts in any every field, but we're able to understand on a fundamental level of what we're talking about. And it does expedite um, that information gathering process throughout. Um, our team does come in and meet with the, the engineers and the people doing the work so we can gather those iterations and that the detail level of detail we need to prepare the claim. Um, like I was saying, it's half hour, hour every every couple months and normally gets us the level of detail that we need from the team. We help them write up a technical uh, narrative. So we write that up for you. Of course, the the team needs to validate it and make sure that we've captured all of those details as accurately as possible. Um, but then we work with the team and uh, we do have a software solution that can plug into um, different JIRAs, GitHubs, different repositories and start pulling out some intelligence from the data that's been collected throughout the year to um, identify projects um, and larger initiatives that we can start classifying as shred eligible. Awesome. Yeah, no, sounds sounds great. That's what we do. So we're going to wrap up wrap up today's stream here. We're almost almost out of time. Uh, we're going to just post in the in the comments. We recently put up a, a blog post on some of the items that that we talked about today on how we can expedite our our shred claim here in in this first half of 2023 and what we need to to do to get started. So definitely, if you're if you're tuned in, take a look at that at that blog post and uh, give it a read. Really appreciate everybody dropping by. Thank you so much, Kyla, for for the chat this morning. It's been it's been great. And uh, just want to, yeah, thanks again, everybody, for coming. And we will do these Innovator Live sessions every Friday. So please come back, stay tuned, and uh, join us next Friday. We'll talk about government grants. And, and this is something that every founder should, should know about and needs to know about. Um, in addition to Shred, there's a lot of money out there to really, uh, that you can take advantage of to really encourage your, your innovation and, and help you accelerate what, what you're trying to do. So Come, come back. Stay tuned. Thanks for dropping in today. Thanks a lot, Kyla, and uh, hope everybody has a good day. Thanks, everyone. Pleasure as always, Matt, and we'll see everybody soon. Okay. See ya. <laughs>